Hey everybody, welcome back. We're on unit 6.5, changes in foreign exchange markets and net exports. Here's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to look at some changes in the world, okay, and how that can affect exchange markets and therefore exchange rates, and how those changes in exchange rates can affect net exports. Let me say that again. We're going to look at changes that can happen in our world, okay? How those changes are going to affect exchange markets, shift the curves in exchange markets, causing the exchange rate to change, and when the exchange rate changes, how net exports are going to change. Now, before I even get into this very deeply at all, let's just get to the end of that whole thing that I just talked about, how exchange rates affect net exports, okay? So here's the deal. When a country's currency, like say the United States, who uses the dollar of course, if the US dollar was to depreciate, that would absolutely affect their net exports, okay? When the US dollar depreciates, goods and services sold in US product markets become cheaper, right? Goods and services sold in the US product market are priced in dollars. And so when those, uh, sorry, when the exchange rate, when the dollar, the international value of the dollar depreciates, okay, becomes easier to obtain, cheaper to obtain, the goods and services in the United States become cheaper to obtain, and therefore U.S. exports increase. At the same time, if the dollar depreciates, goods and services abroad, I've got the European Union over here, so we'll just kind of focus on that, but goods and services abroad, like in the European Union, are going to become more expensive because when the dollar depreciates, that means the euro or other currencies are appreciating relative to the dollar, and therefore, since these goods and services are priced in euros, when the euro appreciates relative to the dollar, these goods and services become more expensive to Americans, Americans buy less, and U.S. imports go down. When U.S. exports go up, and U.S. imports go down, net exports goes down. Now here's the thing, guys. The thing you gotta know is you gotta know how these exchange rate changes affect net exports, and that's what we just talked about. Again, dollar depreciates, U.S. net exports goes up. Dollar appreciates, U.S. net ex exports goes down. Okay, there you go. Now, let's get to the whole thing we're focused on, which is changes in the world and how they affect the exchange market, therefore the exchange rate, therefore net exports. So here are some major changes to kind of look at. Changes in relative interest rates, changes in the expected growth rates of a country, changes in political or economic stability. So these changes right here are going to absolutely cause curves in exchange markets to shift, causing exchange rates to change and therefore net exports to change. Let's talk about the first one, changes in relative interest rates. If, say, the United States interest rate goes up, people are going to want to put more financial capital in those markets. Money goes where interest rates is, are higher, okay? So if interest rates go up here, money's going to flow towards the U.S. financial market. That flow of money globally, internationally, towards U.S. financial markets, well, is going to cause the dollar to appreciate, of course, right? The only way to get financial capital into the U.S., financial market is to have dollars. So people around the world who want to get their financial capital in those markets where the interest rate is higher are going to demand the dollar. The dollar is going to appreciate. When the dollar appreciates, of course, this stuff is going to become more expensive to the rest of the world. Again, this stuff, the goods and services inside that box, the product market, are priced in goods and services. If the dollar appreciates relative to other currencies, the dollar is now more expensive to get, and therefore these goods and services are more expensive to get. So again, if the dollar appreciates, people over here are going to buy less goods and services. Now, there's an upside to, Amer up to this to Americans. When the dollar appreciates, of course, that's the international purchasing power of the dollar is going up, right? So if the dollar appreciates, foreign currencies are now cheaper, cheaper to get. And since this stuff is priced in foreign currencies, they're going to be cheaper to get. So again... Interest rates go up, that's going to cause the dollar, of course, to appreciate, and when the dollar appreciates, net exports in the U.S. are going to go down, okay? Now, take a little look at the flow of money, too. When money flows in here, it's actually going to cause a flow of money that direction, okay? Now, let's talk about changes in expected growth rate. Now, this one's super important because where do you want your money to be? You want your money to be in countries that you expect to grow faster, right? So if, say the United States, all of a sudden we expect the United States to grow faster. 
Again, financial capital is going to come this direction, okay? And as financial capital comes this direction, what's going to happen? Well, of course, the dollar is going to appreciate. And if the dollar appreciates, again, the dollar appreciating, that change in the exchange rate is going to cause net exports to go down. Because again, the dollar appreciating makes stuff here more expensive to people internationally. And the dollar appreciating makes stuff abroad cheaper to Americans. So U.S. imports are going to go up. Now, let's go to this one, changes in political and economic stability. Let's say that the U.S. becomes less politically stable. If that's the case, here's the question for you. Where do you want your wealth to be? In financial markets in countries that become more stable or less stable? Well, of course, less stable is not where you want your financial wealth to be, right? So if people have their wealth here and it becomes politically less stable, well, people are going to want to get their wealth out of there, right? So money's going to flow away from U.S. financial markets. Remember, it's in financial markets that people basically have their wealth, right? Or a, a large part of their wealth. If that country becomes less politically stable or economically stable, what are we going to do? We're going to get our wealth out of there, right? We're going to get it. I like to say go get it denominated in other currencies and put into other financial markets. So money is going to flow that direction. So you'll see the supply of dollars heading this way, causing, of course, the dollar to depreciate. When the dollar depreciates, hey, this stuff's going to become cheaper, okay? When this stuff becomes cheaper, what's going to happen? U.S. exports are going to go up. Again, we got an outflow of money here because of less political stability causing the dollar to depreciate. And when that dollar depreciates, that means it's cheaper in international exchange markets. That means these goods and services are now cheaper to the rest of the world. So, hey, money's going to flow into our product markets. U.S. exports are going to go up. On top of that, when the dollar depreciates, that means foreign currencies are appreciating relative to the dollar. So that means these goods and services are becoming more expensive to Americans to buy, right? Our international purchasing power is declining, so we're going to buy less from abroad. So U.S. imports are going to go down. So again, in this particular situation, we got an outflow of money right here from the financial market or financial account, if you want to say, causing the dollar to depreciate, and that caused net exports to increase. It caused money to flow this direction from a product market or current account standpoint. Anyhow, I hope that made sense to you, and I hope you kind of saw that interdependency between the financial account and current account that kind of came out in those examples. The biggest thing, though, that I want you to take away is how an exchange rate affects net exports in a country. Hope that made sense to you, and we'll see you in another video.